Graham, mm. what did BC do? Why well, don't we like? Why doesn't Alberta like BC right now? Um, yeah, so BC suddenly announced it was looking at uh, bringing in regulations to limit the amount of bitumen that Alberta could pump through pipelines uh. from Alberta to the West Coast. So the thing is, what they're saying is, you know, we have the right to protect our environment, but the pipelines, but right now we have the Kinder Morgan pipeline that actually ships all kinds of energy products, including bitumen through the pipeline, and uh, BC has no control over that. Like, the, the, you know, they don't sit there and monitor it, but now that they're going to expand the, the ideas to expand the Kinder Morgan pipeline, uh, to basically twin it, all of a sudden BC is saying we want to regulate what's actually in that pipeline. And Alberta has just hit the roof saying, well, hold on for a second. This is a federal responsibility. It's an interprovincial pipeline. You know, that's been approved by the federal government. You don't get to say what actually gets through that pipeline, British Columbia. And uh, in effect, what Natalie is saying is that John Horgan, her good friend, like literally her good friend, fellow NDP premier. Are they still friends? Well, they yeah. they have been. They were. Mm -hmm. Right now, I would... This is the kind of thing that you fought. You unfriend someone on Facebook over this kind of nonsense. Uh, well, have they actually done that, do you think? Unfriended each other? Well, actually on Facebook? We should so. check. We New should story check. today. <laughs> <laughs> Follow up. So anyway, so... Alberta's saying basically BC is trying to uh, impose a trade embargo basically on, on Alberta getting its bitumen to, to market. What's really happening here is that BC, what BC is doing is tripping up once again the proposed expansion of that pipeline. It's a huge deal for Alberta economically as well as politically for the uh, Notley government. But her argument is, look, BC doesn't have the power to do this, should not be doing this, and the federal government is the one that should be stepping in right now, mm -hmm. namely Trudeau, telling Oregon to back off because he's trying to intrude on federal responsibilities. And